Researchers are finding ways to control hurricanes to stop them in their tracks before they make landfall, causing havoc and destruction. They're working on cutting edge technology to tame and control hurricanes. Climate change posing risks to the planet. Human induced warming will make parts of the world uninhabitable. Vital crops to be affected, becoming extinct, insects disappearing, disrupting the food chain from the bottom up, and all this leading to catastrophic change for humans. Another aspect of climate change is the increased instance of natural disasters, one of the most serious problems being rising sea temperatures, warming oceans, meaning sea levels will rise, melting ice caps, and more extreme weather events, and among them, of course, are uh, hurricanes. But now the Norwegian company claiming to have discovered a way to mitigate, to lessen the rise of destructive hurricanes, and they'll do this by blowing bubbles, they say. The company is called Ocean Therm, founded by Olav Hollingster, a former naval officer, and he's developing a system that uses bubbles, of all things, to cool the surface temperature of the sea by drawing up cold water from ocean depths. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Hurricanes created when hot and cold air meet over warm ocean waters of 26.5 degrees Celsius or above. The warmer the water, the more powerful a hurricane becomes, and as seen in recent devastating cyclones in past years. But the water below 26.5 degrees Celsius has neither the heat nor the sufficient levels of evaporation to feed the hurricane. So this will either reduce the strength of the storm and chances of making landfall or prevent one from forming in the first place. So Ocean Therm's idea is to lower perforated pipes deep into the ocean through which to blow compressed air. But how will they do that? The air would create bubbles that would draw cooler air up to the surface and reduce its temperature to below 26.5 degrees Celsius. The pipes would be deposited from a fleet of ships patrolling areas known to form hurricanes, for example, one of them being the Gulf of Mexico. They would then create a bubble curtain, quote unquote, in a hurricane's path to diminish it, potentially stopping them in their tracks, according to BBC Science Focus magazine. But the idea is not new, it's an old one, with ocean therm simply applying a new technique. Norway has been using bubble curtains for years, and they do this to prevent fjords from freezing in the winter. So instead of using uh, pipes to uh, cool the water, they're using pipes to warm the water so that the water doesn't freeze in the fjords. So the case there, bubbles ride, bringing warm water to the surface that's uh, being chilled by cool, cold uh, winter air. The company's proposal has yet to be tested on a hurricane. Hollinger admits that lots of research and development is needed to make this a, very, a viable uh, application. Many believe the task is not even possible. So in the path of a hurricane, of course, the ships would not be in the storm. They would leave the area because otherwise, of course, you'll have a ship di shipping disasters. So why would the ships be there laying pipes when they know that the hurricane is coming? Anyway, Bill McGuire, Emeritus Professor of Earth Science at University College London, said there is a huge difference between keeping a fjord from icing over, because, you know, the fjords are much smaller areas, peninsulas of land and the sea between them, so there's a big difference between fjord icing over and weakening a tropical uh, cyclone in the power of several thousand nuclear bombs and up to a thousand kilometers or more across. So the practicalities and the cost will be a huge factor. It's estimated the bill would cost around $500 million to set up and $80 million a year to run this. But it's a balance. Uh, it'll balance out when the cost of the hurricane $24 billion annually, according to U.S. government 
Congressional Budget Office is taken into consideration. And then there are the aftermaths. Professor McGuire said, the way to lessen the effects of the landfalling hurricane is via better forecasting, improving land use planning, more resilient construction, local engineering solutions, and improving alert and evacuation systems. He said, slashing emissions so that an overheating climate and ocean don't drive more powerful weather storms. Other methods include a seafloor scanner vibrating barrier and snow drift monitoring. So uh, this is uh, one of the ideas that they have, using pipes laid by ships. But well, how could the ships remain there? Uh, I don't know, maybe submarine. I have no idea. Uh, but you know, hurricanes are in that area. And um, I don't know if it, that's, this will be applicable or not. Possible, that is. This is by Joel Day, Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.